And specifically Kuala Lumpur, we call each other by familial terms. So we say Kang, or you've heard Ka, just means brother. So they call me Kang Kai, brother Kai, right? Um, or Ka Kai. Hello, my name is Kai Lewis. Um, I'm an instructor here in Houston, Texas. I teach at Rice University. I teach Penchak Silat Panglipur. Kang Kai atau Kak Kai mulai mengajar silat Panglipur yang berasal dari Jawa Barat dan Sumatera sejak 2018 di Houston, Texas. Ia mengenal silat tahun 2006 setelah sebelumnya belajar seni bela diri lain. So we started looking on YouTube and around 2006, Sadara Com, this French production company, made some DVD YouTube videos of this West Javanese masters and Sumatran masters. And I saw them and my, my brain was just blown away. I didn't understand what's happening. Kai lalu mencari guru silat tradisional hingga akhirnya bertemu Caca Prahman, guru silat Panglipur yang datang ke Amerika tahun 2012. They invited me to Garut in 2012. He's my main influence and inspiration in doing silat. He's really great. Um, He's able to break down traditional stuff and modern stuff, which I value myself, and he likes to combine it in a way that's um, accessible to modern people. Jamal Muhammad adalah murid Kai sejak empat tahun lalu. Seperti Kai, ia tertarik belajar silat karena pengaruh media seperti film yang ikut mempopulerkannya. Um, but I saw the movie The Raid, and I was like, wait, what's that? And uh, I heard of silat in a Street Fighter video game. It was the name of a character. Um, and uh, I was here in Houston, started looking up some things, and uh, when I saw um, Kai's uh, site, it was on Facebook. Kendala utama Kai dalam mempelajari silat adalah bahasa. Sementara tantangan terbesarnya dalam mengajarkan seni bela diri ini adalah masalah rasa. How can I help someone feel something? It's a lot of sensitivity or rasa. You have to feel what's happening. If you're too Western or mental or mechanical, you can mimic, but mimicking isn't a path to mastery. So you have to be able to feel and that's non-verbal. That's the hardest breakthrough for most people. Ini diakui Ra Shango, murid Kai yang mengenal silat saat berkunjung ke Indonesia. It's simple yet difficult. This style is a little, or silat style is a little more intuitive and less like robotic, less, you know, uh, less cookie cutter. Walau tak mudah, namun ini tak menyurutkan niat para warga Amerika untuk mempelajari pencak silat. Menurut Darren, mahasiswa tingkat 3 di Rice University, silat tak hanya menekankan pada komponen fisik. Kalau di silat, ada lebih banyak komponen mental, jadi so it's lebih seperti like meditatif, it's more relaxing, it's, it's focused on like agility and having this fluid movement to it. Dan yang membuat muridnya seperti Patrick Layton Gilbert semangat belajar silat adalah sosok Kai Lewis yang sudah dianggap seperti keluarga sendiri. Oh, that dude, love that dude. That's good. He's a good guy. Like I said, I, I pretty, I, you know, like I like all, I've done all kinds of martial arts. Uh, I like I, I stuck around in this because I like that guy. That guy's a cool guy. And you know, now we we do all kinds of stuff together now. Like that's a, he's, he's a martial arts brother. Just connecting with people and seeing people have their own light bulb moments is priceless, you know. Dari Houston, Texas, Dania Iman, Asman Fadila, Nia Iman Santoso, VOA.